family. Guys, we're at ATF Speed. ATF Speed's been investing big money, man, to making their shop as badass as possible. Look at this. These guys already had CNC machines inside the shop, and now they have all these new machines. Look at this. That are just incredible here at ATF, guys. They're making the best everything they possibly can, everything made in-house. These guys are not playing around. There's constant transmissions being built day in and day out. If you guys are looking for, look at this. There's another machine that's back there working. If you guys are looking for a badass Toyota A340, the transmission of the Baltic Supra, they have the stage four, and I know Jason's working really hard on the stage five. Our intention was to have it ready for Florida 2K, but with all the new changes they have going on here to have production going as fast as possible, unfortunately it wasn't done in time, so my idea is, I'm picking up two stage fours. Here's one, and I'll have another one later this week. You guys know I'm as transparent as possible with all you guys. You guys are my race family. You guys also know that I've been the one pushing this transmission as far as it can possibly be pushed. Every time we heard something, we try to improve it. The last few things that I've heard are input shafts, and that'll come on the stage five. It'll be a way better input shaft that hopefully we won't break anymore. But for now, all we can get done in time are the stage fours. So I'm picking up two, two of them. One today, I'll be back later this week to get another one. My intention, guys, is I'm gonna go to the dyno with this transmission, get to Bradenton, get to Florida 2K, and lay down some of the hardest licks I can make to qualify. I wanna qualify as best as I possibly can on this transmission. And then my idea is through the night, right? Going into the day of eliminations through the night, take it down and put a fresh unit back in to try to go into eliminations with a brand new input shaft. The trainee I know can handle the power, no problem. My only thing is the input shaft, guys. I've never worn the clutches. I've never hurt anything else internally. It's just the freaking input shaft that keeps giving out on me. And again, with the stage five, that'll be solved. But for now, that's my idea, baby. My boy Dave's over here <laughs> hooking What's him up. up. Pedro? <laughs> guys, these people are like family, man. I was saying earlier, if you're in the market for a badass A340, right? The stage three, the stage four, a Power Glide, TA400, 4L80E, any of these transmissions, guys, give ATF Speed a call. I want to see their phone numbers out here, and if so, I'll show it to you guys. Their phone number, you can look up their website online. Ooh, it's windy. Guys, here it is, Automatic Transmission Factory. I've been working with Jason and the full team here for many years now, and we've accomplished so much with the A340. So 954-916-1155, baby. Home of the fastest A340s. I know there's other companies and other people that build these A340s. Don't dare investing with anyone anyone else. If you want a fast A340, buy it from these guys. We've proven these things over and over again. We know what the weak points are. We know how to make them strong. Woo. But now, I'm doing my best for you guys to film each and every day. Now I'm gonna go home, get this transmission installed, and just keep grinding. Every day we're gonna be working on the car to get it ready for Florida 2K. And by the way, race family, today is my birthday, baby. Your boy turns 30 today. That sounds freaking old. Today's my yeah, birthday, brother. brother. Happy birthday. Come on. Birthday, happy happy birthday. birthday. Thank you for the transmission. You got it, brother. You guys are the best. Another one too. All right, I'll see you later this week. Yep. Race family, here we are, guys. Woof, look what it says right there. Guys, I remember these converters that, that we use for the A340s. I remember back in the day, like three, four years ago, when the TRC240, right? That was the 2JZ240 SX with this transmission. When the TRC240 ran, I think it was like a 790 at 175 miles an hour, people could not, it was blowing everyone's mind that that converter, right? That converter, that training went that mile an hour, that the converter held that power. And here I am going 183 miles an hour with the same converter, a slightly better transmission, right? He had the stage three, this is the stage four. But crazy, crazy. No! Have her do it again. Have her do, have her do it again. On tour, on tour. Guys, man, these guys are awesome, man. I'm so blessed to have a great team of people. What's up, my brother? Say what's up to the YouTube family. What's Say up, what's bro? up, race family. Doing? How you doing? Come on, man. Guys, I showed the machines around a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. That's awesome, man. Happy birthday. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Guys, I can't put up with this. Thank you, guys. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's awesome, man. You guys are the best. God bless. I'll catch you guys soon. Race family. I'm I'm speechless, man. No bullshit. Like, these are people that I've that I've been working with for a long time, but little things like that mean so much. 
<clears throat> I went to Real Street Performance, and I'll give you guys that clip as well. I went to Real Street Performance the other day to pick up my engine, and the attention that I received from everyone there in the staff, everyone's just so kind, and these people aren't like that just with me. They're that kind to every customer that walks through the door. So to have such amazing people working with us on our team, it means the world to me, man. Little things like that, that, that it doesn't go unseen. I'll never forget that. So I'm truly blessed, Race Family. Let's keep this YouTube thing alive. I'll upload as much as I can for you guys. I'm really enjoying this, and you guys know that. I'm gonna say goodbye to Jason's wife, Kelly, and we'll get back on the road, guys. And today, we're gonna put that train in, or it'll be part of this video. Ah, come on. All right, guys, I just made it back to the house. As you can see, I got the transmission right behind me. My intention was to get the transmission installed today, but given that today's my birthday, I think I'm gonna give myself the night off to enjoy the family and we have family coming over to visit. But tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I'll get back to grinding on the car and I'll film that for you guys as well, get the transmission installed. Then I have to get a few fittings uh, sorted out. Um, but today we did pick up the transmission and I'll show you guys some other stuff that I did today. From last time's video or yesterday's video, I threw the coil pack on here yet. It's not hooked up yet, all the wiring is here on the side. It's not on because I still want to change the spark plugs. The spark plugs that are in there are the ones that I last ran. So I would like to put brand new ones on there again. So I'll, more than likely tomorrow or maybe tomorrow's Wednesday. So tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday, I'll get new spark plugs, put them in there, finish the coil pack. Um, something else that I did today is I got this awesome cash cam from Powerhouse Racing. This came in this morning, or it came in, I picked it up late last night. Um, and first thing this morning, I got it installed. This thing looks incredible. That's a one gallon cash can, double filters. This line here is actually extra. That's gonna be for the dash 16 that's gonna come out of the uh, vacuum pump. So out of here, I'm gonna run a hose all the way to here. These are the check valves I was talking to you guys about. And those go to the breathers on the back of the valve, uh, valve covers. So little by little guys, every day I'm putting in a few hours at a time. I'm going short on time. so. Over the next few days, I'm gonna to have to really hit it hard, but here we're making some changes to get past the uh, oil cap, some different fittings and stuff, and that's, that guy's gonna plumb right there. So I'm doing all that I can in a small time. This here's all the wiring for the transmission. I've had it here just so it didn't drag on the ground as I was towing the car and bringing it here. So I'll let, I'll let this tape loose and I'll run that all down to the transmission. Again, the plan is transmission install first thing tomorrow morning followed by just more work. I got a secondary transmission cooler that's gonna go behind the inner cooler, so we'll have to take the bumper off, take the inner cooler off, put that transmission cooler, but I'm still missing the hardware for it. I don't wanna tear, tear all that apart till I have the hardware, but all that stuff is gonna get overnighted to me, so let's see how soon I get it. But for now, guys, I know we didn't physically work on the car today, but you guys are along for the journey. Come on, guys, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Race family, baby!